Assalamualaikum and uh, good day. Uh, this is me uh, trying to fix the issue of my Andesit Kaiser 2 side support being a bit too narrow for me. So uh, what I plan is to use some method of um, expanding the side support a bit further away from each other so we'll see how that goes okay over here I've dismantled the chair and I'm working on the seat of the chair um, in order for me to get to the frame of the um, seat uh, I have to take out this what is it PVC leather what they call it Okay, I have to take it out from the frame and it's a very tedious process because these clips they are very thick and it's not really easy to take them out I use uh, any methods that I can bunch of screwdrivers and pliers and yeah, trust just trying to be careful not to rip off these holes when I'm taking out these clips. Uh, I'm afraid it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to put them back together, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, now I've taken out the three clips from this side at the back and the three clips at the front here and I believe I can take out the cushion out yeah let's hope let's hope I don't have to take out any more clips okay so this is the underside of the seat you can see the frame and the strap here now in order for me to reach this part it seems that I also have to take out this cover and a lot more clips to deal with so yeah this is gonna be a pain to put it all back together turns out that I don't really need to take out all the clips just took out one clip from this other side here and I already got the access to the side support frame it's being annoying me all this while so I'm thinking of the best method to really push this side support apart uh, I could just bash it <laughs> or I could slowly yeah, you know pull it to the side maybe using a crowbar or something or I can even use a car jack that's one idea um, but I have to be very careful of the welds here so that I don't break it because uh, if I do break it, then it's be, it'll be another story. I have to take this frame to my local welder to re-weld it. So, yeah. Hope everything goes well. I tried to, you know, have this side support be pulled apart with this car jack, but... It seems that I can't get a good mounting point for the car jack to work properly. Uh, I don't want to bash this thing around so I ended up with the leverage, the crowbar method. So this is uh, my idea of a crowbar. Something that I bought way back when I was in Australia. Um, I knew this kind of thing would prove itself useful one day, so uh, 
I think this this what's this Stanley Fat Max yeah so it works quite well just put it over here and yeah you get a solid mount here so that you can really push um, this uh, side support for a bigger angle man this ender seat really have a very solid frame it took everything i got to move the side support a couple of degrees to the side but i'm gonna keep up to it and yeah see you what that does okay i managed to pull this um, left hand side side support a couple of degrees more than its original position without breaking any of the weld oh, for a big man like me this really took quite a lot out of me uh, maybe I haven't exercised for long so and that's it if you're watching please let there be like uh, you know a mechanism that would enable us to change the angle of our of the side support of our seats yeah even though i'm i'm a tinker but this is just like way beyond what i normally do now i just have to do it again for the right hand side oh gosh Okay, so let's start again. I okay, need to hold this here. Mount this over here. All right, got it. Just mount it properly. And try to push it with one hand while I'm holding my handphone with the other. Oh God. No, I can't do that. I've pushed the uh, right hand side as much as I dare. I'm not really sure that I got the angle right. So I don't have all the fancy schmancy gadgetry to check the angle of, of this side support, whether they are the same or not. So I have to resort to other methods like my like the old trusty tape right so let's measure uh, keep it relatively straight relative is a big assumption here so i got like five inches for this part and this one I got like five inches plus. Yeah, seems that this one has quite some way to go. And even when we do a visual inspection, yeah, you can see that the angle is not the same. Okay, so keep on pushing. Okay, I've uh, pushed this right hand side again. Now this time I got my anger ruler to check the measurement. This should be a bit better than the measly measuring tape. Over here, let's see now. I got like a hundred. And this side if I keep my eye level yeah it's a hundred so success uh, I think I managed to make both of this uh, side support somewhat at the same angle yeah time to put back 
this foam back together yeah you can see that and the seat uh, uses some um, virgin material for the padding so I could appreciate that and these foams from what I've read they are like memory foam so it will get back to its original condition after you've used it and it'll last a long time okay, time to put the cover back yeah and then need to get this full correct I need to follow the original folding so that it'd be easier for me to put the clips back on yeah seems close enough and then the cushion just um, put that back for temporary and let's have a seat okay right now i have to put back all these clips back to the hole where I, where i took it out from uh, yeah i use um just a screwdriver for that but to put it back on i figured i'll i need to use something like this okay to really once i put it into the hole okay this plywood help me to close the ring of the clip just like this Finally, I'm done uh, refitting all the clips back to its place. Everything to be seem, seems to be in order. Okay, everything is tight. So now it's time to reinstall all these three components back together. Now, of all the parts that um, and the seed managed to produce with a high degree of quality there's always some parts that you know they managed to screw up literally um, for example this cover for the side of the seat so when I was installing it for the second time uh, the mount for the screw which usually looks like this okay, it's this one managed to snap cleanly off I mean just like that snapped up so this is just very annoying very unfortunate I mean how come they could produce this plastic component which is so fragile and yeah I guess right now I have to find a way to fix this back to its place or do some modification okay, to put this thing back into place or maybe I can ask Andesit for a replacement which is highly unlikely <laughs> even though i just bought this seat like a day ago so um yeah uh, you guys might want to be careful when putting this back i mean this thing this plastic thing is so flimsy and it's so fragile now you can see there's a bit more space here for my for my dear old pies okay that should work 
And now I have a nagging feeling that I want to do the same for my dark wizard. I'm just gonna keep that for further consideration. <laughs> but now I'm just going to enjoy my Kaiser 2 seat. Well, that's something. So, the big question here is that can my thigh survive sitting in this for long periods? Uh, yeah, it seems that I managed to make some room for my thighs. Okay, so it doesn't press on my thigh anymore and makes me feel uncomfortable. So yeah, mission successful. <laughs>